Okay, so yesterday I did not post a video, right? So yeah, that is one example. I didn't do anything in the torrential room yesterday. However, the aircon, the aircon guys came over to clean up my aircon. So it is super clean now and it's way cooler. So better for the tarantulas. Is there a random like a baby roach in there? I have no idea. But yeah. So basically, um, this room. I didn't really come in here yesterday. I came. I just came in and briefly checked on the tarantula. Lots of everyone had their water dishes and everyone did. So that is why I didn't upload anything because, well, today we're gonna be. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this one still hasn't eaten in like freaking ages. Wait, this one actually found a random roach and started eating. That's good. That's a pokra. Hmm. So yeah, this enclosure before this never had like mushroom spores, but I don't know why for some reason. Now it just frequently started to have them. I think also because I like poured a lot of water, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. As long as the torrential is happy, right? Because what I found out is all tarantulas would actually prefer their substrate a little bit damp. Even my, my GBB, it's still considered bone dry for the most part, but at this corner is damp because in the wild they are going to find damp spots underground obviously right so yeah as long as you keep the temperature cool like yeah as long as you keep it cool you shouldn't have any issues because if let's say you were to keep your enclosures what hot or if your temperature is hot like over here and you don't use aircon and you keep the enclosure rather damp problem is you're gonna face some deaths because mm, what do you call that it'll make the enclosure like a sauna a sauna inside the enclosure which is Pretty much a death trap. When are you gonna molt? But yeah, a death trap or a death room or something for the tarantula. Oh man, my skeleton tarantula is like, I think it's a pre molt. Miss Thailand Black, you are huge. But yeah, that is why I am keeping the aircon on now 24 7 so that the room stays at a cooler temperature and I can keep the tarantulas on the damper side. But that's not gonna change the fact that these freaking mushroom spores are still gonna like randomly come out. But it's okay. I mean, it doesn't harm the tarantula. But I just don't need to use them. So yeah, like I said, I will only be uploading video on this channel when or if I even do anything in the tarantula room. This tarantula's enclosure, my Gigas, has a different kind of mold, which also doesn't harm them, but it's because this enclosure is probably one of the more damper enclosures because it's the H Gigas, right? They're even known to like swim. So, yeah. Any other enclosures that require stirring? Yeah, as usual, this, what you call this? Cambridge A. There you go, girl. Go to the back. 
It's like she's trained already. Every time I open this, she runs to the back because I think she even knows that I am like gonna clean up the enclosure. And also, if you guys are like, why always the same content on this channel? Well, this channel is basically for me to just spam stuff, right? And mainly to just record my tarantula maintenance. And also, when I am like cleaning all of these things, I will sometimes need light. So with the camera light, before this I used to use my torch light, but I mean, if the camera is there, why not use the camera and film instead of a torchlight, right? I mean, it's the same thing with one added benefit. I mean, if you guys don't want to watch, you don't have to watch, but I'm just going to upload it again. And it's not like I'm uploading these random videos on the main channel, because these are just pretty much just spam. I mean, why not? It's, a, it's kind of a win-win thing. You guys get content, and I get the light, regardless if I'm using... Yeah, right? You get what I mean? So yeah. I think... Yeah, I think that's about... Oh, no, that's not about it. One more enclosure. So my Sazimai over here... And I randomly started to... Whoa, girl. Chill. So yeah. Like I said, it's kind of a win-win situation. content I get the light and for those who don't want to watch don't have to watch and it is not like spamming the main channel which is why I created this channel to freaking spam <laughs> my maintenance journey so um yep I guess that is pretty much it on the tarantula room. I mean, on this channel, I don't know if I should upload like my my snake content or I don't know. I actually just planned to do tarantula comment uh, content on this channel, but I don't know. We will see in the future. But yeah. So far, that's going to be, I mean, as for now, that's going to be pretty much what we're going to be doing on this channel. Just my daily, if not every couple days, maintenance in the tarantula. Because really, tarantulas don't require a lot of maintenance. And if, if let's say, right... We don't even have these freaking ugly mushroom spores. I don't even have to maintain the tarantulas or... Yeah, I don't have to do anything pretty much. The heck is that? Yeah, I, I don't really have to do anything. I mean, technically now I don't even have to do anything, right? It's just that I don't like the mushroom spores. I mean, they don't hurt the tarantula in any way, but I just... I just don't like them because I have OCD. So, that is why... We have this channel. <laughs> I'm just rambling in this video, just as the other videos. But yeah, I guess that's it. That's that's pretty much what I do in my tarantula room on a daily basis. If I don't clean the water dish, I will stir up soap straight. Yeah, it gives you guys kind of a for those who wanna keep tarantulas, just a little sneak peek on not sneak peek, but. Just a view on what tarantula maintenance it's like. So yeah. 